let's just say that my $10 investment turned out to be very, very, very wise. Welcome to Paper and Moose. Hello everyone. It is a thrifting day. It has been some time since I've been thrifting. So what awaits us in the Salvation Army? I have no idea, but we are going to make it a good one, hopefully, and we're going to make a video. So whatever is in there, you're going to see it. We'll see what we can find. Hopefully some good treasures awaits. Await. Treasure awaits. Anyway, it's thrifting day. Let's see what thrifting we can do. The usual guys aren't here. Oh, they're cute, 99 cents. Who's this lady? Avon. since those main guys aren't here I feel like I'm like like it's like where do I go where do I go oh I don't even think the art guy's here there's a guy that usually goes straight to the art he's not here either of stuff. Oh gosh. I remember seeing these at all the souvenir shops down in at the beach. They normally would have, you know, like Atlantic City Wildwood printed on them. Those plates are always here. <laughs> Nothing super crazy, but... And like, this is why I don't pick up a lot of glassware. Well, no. That's why I don't pick up a lot of glassware. Because there's so much of it. Same with like, milk glass. It just doesn't sell in our area. You can spend probably half a day here looking through the clothing. That's actually cute. Pack a lunch. <laughs> shopping at a thrift store for clothes is definitely easier than shopping at the bins because that is, you know, nothing is categorized. Miller time. Here. I don't even know if they'd be able to categorize the bins. That'd be crazy. What's this guy? That looks like it'll fit me. I'll grab that. So they have like a 4th of July patriotic section. I'll check these out. See if there's anything vintage. It's made. Miss America. What is this? <laughs> I mean, this has everything you could want. You have Uncle Sam, the American Eagle, and the Statue of Liberty. Is this older? 
Oh, and she's even on the back. Well, that's fun, but I think I'm gonna pass. <laughs> I don't see any vintage, but if you need your patriotic fix, or your Christmas stuff, they're actually doing like, oh, this is cute top, Christmas in July, um, what's this, scar, These are like, there's an abundance of these. If you need a matching t-shirt for your family photo, that's patriotic, come to the Salvation Army. That's a nice post office shirt. This might be a short thrift video so we can look at the Lego books. A trip to the thrift. Not awful. I came away with four things, two shirts and two grab bags. The shelves weren't bare. They had a decent amount of items on there, just nothing that really piqued my interest. Knick-knack section, really no vintage things, which is what I look for. Um, I did find two t-shirts. The first is this one. This is a single stitch shirt. It has the row of single stitching. Not all single stitch, single stitch shirts are going to bring in lots of money. Some people buy them just to wear them because they're vintage and other people do buy them to make money, but the world of vintage shirts is far and wide. Study up on it if that's what you are really interested in reselling. But this is a Philadelphia Flower Show shirt. It's on a Hanes 50-50 tag. I should be able to fit it. It's a nice blue, bright blue color for I almost said for Christmas, <laughs> for the summer. I just cannot dry it and I should be able to wear it. Then this other cute guy, I don't think anything I bought was half off. No, it was not, naturally. Um, this is a Winnie the Pooh Disney. Uh, this is a little bit of an older shirt. It's not a single, oh, it is a single stitch, yes. <laughs> this will fit me, cute uh, graphic on the front, really bright colors, oh, they don't have rabbit. Where the owl? They're missing. <laughs> but you have the gang with uh, Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet. So I will be able to wear this. There's maybe perhaps a better view of the single stitch. You know, what is this worth online? I don't know, because I'm going to wear it. Then the grab bags. These were five bucks a bag. Uh, you know, is it a bad buy? I don't really think so. They are Lego leave instruction manuals i don't think they're magazines this one even has pieces of lego in it so we are going to or i'm going to open these up and look for what what their worth is you know i might have something really good in here if there's especially if there's a vintage lego instruction book otherwise it's going to be a lesson in legos so join me as we look through these and see what what we have. A lesson in Legos. I was never really a Lego person. My cousins really weren't either. We were, you know, GI. I grew up with um, boy cousins, so it was always GI Joe, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, maybe some Star Wars thrown in there, but mostly GI Joe. They didn't really do Legos. We had a Playmobil, <laughs> Hot Wheels. That's what we played with Hot Wheels. But yes, a lesson in Legos. Let's open these babies up and see what we have. We interrupt this recap to bring you some news, some crazy news. I couldn't look in the sealed bags. I couldn't see what the dates were for those instruction booklets. Couldn't see what town, city, building they were for. But when I came home and I opened them up, there's just money in those bags. Money in the form of Lego paper instruction manuals. Now, not all of them were great. Most of them were iffy, but there were two sets. I wanted to physically show you so no one could say, oh, you're just saying that, because you know, in the world of YouTube and social media. Anyway, so we're gonna save the, 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 big, the big mama for last. Just gonna show you green grocer, it's this grocery store. It's for Lego City, or just Lego. 
books one to three. I'll show you in a couple minutes what it's worth. And then the big one, Cafe Corner. I believe it's this one. Books one and two. Let's just say that my $10 investment turned out to be very, very, very wise. I'll show you the comps right now. A little Lego lesson. I wanted to show you the listings on eBay for some of the books that I found in the Lego grab bags, especially the expensive books. So the first would be this Green Grocer instruction booklets that I found. It is a set of three and the price averages for all three between 80 to a hundred dollars. I'm going to say that this probably varies according to how many of the instruction books are listed because most of the books are in the actual Lego sets with the Legos and the boxes. This Green Grocer Lego has sold complete in the box between $500 and $900. Too bad that wasn't at the thrift store, but for three paper booklets about a Lego grocery store, making between 80 and say $100, is not too shabby at all. Then, my friends, the, the big mama, as we'll call it, this one. So this is a rare discontinued Lego set, the Cafe Corner. And complete in box, the, the, the set is all over the board from you see $800, $900, $1,000, So it's everywhere. Now, I could only find one completed listing for the instructions. This is a set of two. So you have book one of two and two of two. And there was only one bid. What the heck? The economy shipping is $29? That's crazy. But, um... Yeah, so there's one bid for $409 for the instruction manuals. You know, I'm guessing if you have this Lego set and you don't have the instructions, it looks rather complicated. So the instructions would come in handy. Or if you were trying to complete your set and you can sell a set for $1,000. But this is, you know, amazing to think that I spent $10 on these two grab bags five dollars a piece and I could make essentially let's just say five hundred dollars in the high end is is pretty crazy especially when I know nothing about Legos some of the books such as this one just they're they're not worth anything so this is a set uh, from one to nine for the um, Lego City it's the police station the only listing that I could find at the time was actually over in uh, the United Kingdom, and this sold for approximately $10.25 US dollars. I'm not going to be listing these types of the lower you know, dollar booklets online. It's not worth my time, especially when I have you know, a couple hundred dollars in what five booklets. So these will go to the flea market. Um, I, I wasn't sure if these manuals would be good, if any of the newer ones would be worth it, but this just shows you, yes, they are. Now, I wonder if the actual Lego sets will show up at this thrift store, because if so, man, oh, maybe I should keep the manuals then and not sell them. Just wait. Give it a month. That might be an idea. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Watch out for those Legos. Don't step on any. We all know how much they hurt. But if you stumble across any in your travels from estate sales to yard sales and even the thrift store, be sure to take a look and perhaps put them in your cart and you might be coming home with a couple hundred dollars. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I will see you all next time.